Good Fit Nation. You guys know how this goes, man. Before we get into anything, just want to shout out to whatever podcast, man, we could be reacting to a clip. And in this clip, they're going to be having a discussion on whether men who men who watch porn, do they get re laid regularly or do they not? And I'm going to give my opinions on it. I'm going to stop it, chop it up. You guys know how I do it on this channel. But before we get into all of that, please make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube at RingFit TV. Right now we're at 405 subscribers, man. I appreciate all the support. Anyway, let's get on with this subject. Now, before we start, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm possibly possibly going to be saying pause a lot because this is kind of a pause worthy subject you know but anyway like i was saying man they they are having a discussion on whether men who get laid regularly do they watch porn or do they not and um i want to give my commentary so without further ado let's grab these and let's get into it man let's go bruh kazumi if women were really approaching men you would not be making 300k a month Men pay because they don't get any. That's a very good point, actually. What facts. I don't know who No Strings Attached TV is, but shout out to you. That is a fact. In my opinion, men who pay for like things like OnlyFans, and I didn't know she had an OnlyFans until I saw this clip. Um, men who pay for things like OnlyFans and, and that kind of crap, uh, and I think it's crap, um, they don't get laid regularly, in my opinion. In my opinion. I keep saying that. But in my opinion, they are some lonely ass, no vagina getting ass. I mean, beating it into my is raw ass motherfucker. They ain't getting none. If they if they was getting some, they wouldn't be paying for it. In my opinion, you know. And if you are getting some and yet you still paying for it, paying to watch somebody else do it, you need to get some help. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta you gotta you got a bit of a problem. In my opinion, like I said, this is all my opinion. Don't get into your feelings. But in my opinion, you are a lonely, 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 lonely man. If you if you're watching anybody's OnlyFans, you have a problem. I don't give a fuck who you are. I, I'm oh my god. Imagine um let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm gonna get into that. What does that mean? Well I what? In in terms of men having it harder for dating, these industries, specifically specifically sex work, would not be generating the sort of money I, that it is if I men were getting women. Facts. Like I said, a lot of the lonely men in the world, they give money to women who look like her, and they know that. Women who look like her know that shit. That's why they are able. Listen, why do you think female content creators and streamers make all make more, more like they make a lot of money? They don't have to be good at the games. They don't have to be entertaining. All they have to do is look good and sell their body. And lonely ass men would give them money just for just to talk to them. So imagine how desperate that is, like. You are literally paying somebody just to talk to you. You, oh my God. I, I'm, I'm just so sad that a lot of men have to resort to such such measures. But it's, this is a fact. Like, twerk wouldn't be as prevalent. Like, it wouldn't generate as much money if a lot of men was getting laid on the regular. That's just a fact. Well, it's opinion. I can't prove it. But I, I feel like it's a fact. I, do you think I first of all I don't think only single men are in my are in my OnlyFans. You know what I mean? That was not the question. Women love to deflect. No, there's definitely guys who sure. have girlfriends and are I don't that's that just doesn't make any sense to me. But also, okay, most I've, of you of course it would it make sense to you they want to mess your money up. But it's a it's, it's true. You're totally right. been with I, and I've also hung out with my fans. I have a Discord to follow my fans. Some of them have girlfriends. Some of them do get they also just happen to support a creator. Anybody who's watching an OnlyFans and you have a girlfriend, you have a problem. Ladies, if you are with a, if you, if your spouse is subscribed to somebody's OnlyFans, then you are not enough. You're not enough. I'm sorry. There is absolutely no reason why I should have to desire or want to look at anything outside of my relationship when I have one. I mean, granted. Let me let me correct myself because I'm a guy and you know we, we after a while we want something new. That's how that's people in general. But I'm just saying, I'm just I'm just saying, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> my fault, fellas, my fault, my fault. I caught myself, I caught myself, I caught myself. I, what the fuck am I talking about? I forgot. But anyway, not before though. 
<laughs> like, like I said, man, if, if you if you're in a relationship and you're paying for somebody's OnlyFans, I don't know, man. In my opinion, I feel like things like OnlyFans are for lonely, creepy men who can't get women in person. That's my opinion. And, you know, like you gotta be a lonely, creepy motherfucker just to be paying for somebody just to talk to you, just watch some chick take her clothes off when you can get it for free. And I get it. It's the connection that you guys are paying for, but it's just that's sad. That's real sad. Like I think I'm pretty sure most men watch. You know the fact that they are they have the the kindness to support a local hoe and like pay pay for pay for my homegrown doesn't mean that they get no bitches. Let me. Oh my god, yo, she is saying anything not to mess up her money, yo. That's what I'm getting. She basically. She's saying anything not to mess up her money. Yo, listen, like I said, for one, if you do OnlyFans, in my opinion, you're not a creator. You're just selling sex. And, you know, that's easy. Anybody can do that. Well, not anybody. But you get what I'm saying. When it comes to a female, for the most part, you don't have to be cute. You don't have to have a nice body. But that's a different conversation. Um, I, I, I don't see them as creators. She says she's a creator. Creator of what? You just get on the camera. You get on the camera and take your clothes off. What do you, what do you like? That's, that's, anybody can do that. Like, anyway, that's a different conversation. But... Uh, can I ask you guys a question? Um, do more men watch than do women watch? Generally speaking, uh, I have no idea. Oh, oh, no, I have no idea. Oh, anybody, I'm a guy. Anybody can answer that one. Guys, by far, like by like a huge margin. It's not even close. Yes, I feel Generally like I watch speaking, a lot of porn. Yeah. Part, I think so, just because like. Uh, I don't want to agree with you, but like you said, like it's easier for women to get sex and for men to have sex and so i think sorry like for men to watch and that's kind of like their way of like you know but i mean women totally watch it too i don't think porn is a supplement of human connection I'm it's not at all no no nobody is saying that it is but all the conversation is do men watch porn do more men or more women watch porn that that was the question part of me but yeah. I think it's if, definitely but like I've ta definitely talked to guys who are athletes and like musicians and they're cool guys and they still watch porn just because they want to get off. Yeah. It's not like they can't call a woman. It's just like I just want to watch some porn. Sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't think them watch. Oh, yeah, of course, I, I definitely <laughs> feel like men watch porn more than women. And that's also. But I don't know. I guess that's 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 an anomaly. Like that's not. That's not common. Like, that's not a lot of common situation. Not a lot of men are, are athletes and musicians, and the guys who she's talking about, and it's a very, very, very small amount. Like I said, most normal average Joes are watching porn because they can't get none. You know, that's my opinion. Like I said, we're gonna pause that too because that's crazy. <laughs> pause, <laughs> we gonna pause that. <laughs> Heavy on the pause. Do you think men that are getting laid regularly watch more or less than men that don't get laid at all? I yes. think if you... That was, I mean, I mean, for me personally, that's a dumb question, but less, of course. If I'm getting laid regularly, why am I watching porno for? I'm good already. I'm already done. What am I watching that for? You're a guy. The who... only people who do that like are, are addicts and they need to get help. Who just kind of chronically watch it. You do that regardless of being single or not. Like, I know my boyfriend still watches and he she has a boyfriend. <laughs> Imagine dating somebody who does OnlyFans, bro. Like, with all due respect, right? <laughs> she is clearly made. I, I'm, I'm assuming she is. She's clearly, for one, she's making more than you. Two, everybody has seen what you know. It's just like I don't know. I just want. I'm not. I guess I'm gonna be called insecure or whatever. I'm, I just wouldn't do it. You shit, man. He can totally I'd me or up. someone else, bro. But the ones that follow OnlyFans or watch obsessively porn are not getting enough. Dude, you just Facts. paid 20 bucks. You are a guy that supports the creators you like, just like everyone else. Okay. I don't respect that. It's not the same. It's not the same. I'm not, we're not doing this. I'm, I'm, this is not the same. It's literally not the same thing. You're, you're selling. You're not a creator. All you're doing is taking your clothes off. What are you doing? You're not, what are you creating? I don't understand. I, I, I don't. I don't help me understand. How are you creative? 
But uh, or, or is that term being thrown around by anybody who gets in front of a camera? I don't get it. I was, like there's no, really it's true. No, like, it's, it's true. What are it's? Okay. Oh, she's, she's so quick to defend her by telling everybody that's pretty most men. Why can't you accept that a lot of men have a heart in the dating market? I was like there's no, really it's true. No, like, it's, it's true. What are it's like a po it's or your favorite podcast or Netflix, you are paying money for a creator or a group of creators to fund what they are doing. I don't think, do you feel like because he's watching this podcast, he just doesn't have anything better to do today? So he's. She's, she's mixing, she's mixing industry. She's, in my opinion, I feel like she's mixing apples and oranges. Like she's trying to apply what she does to real work and to real creatives and try to make it fit and it doesn't fit because like I said, all you do is just get in the camera and take your clothes off. You're not creating anything. And the people who pay for it are lonely, desperate people. That's just, like I said, that's my opinion. I'm sticking with that. Just watching you stream, like I'm sure he has a social life and is cool. The same way people who watch also, maybe there are a few extremists who don't get any but I'm sure they just kind of just buy. A few? No, 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 no. The majority of the guys who consume porn heavily are are not, they don't, like, a lot of them don't get nothing. I'll say about, in my estimate, right, could be about anywhere between 70 to 80% of those guys don't get none. That's why they're watching y'all do it. Sometimes. Well, I mean, they, they are patrons and they support the show, but, yeah. all right, so I just want to touch on this, no strings attached, thank you for the Canadian 20. Yeah, I mean, if men were regularly getting laid, there would not be such a demand for OnlyFans, sex work, and strippers. I don't think. Facts. Thank you, sir. That is 100% correct. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be such a demand for it because men will already be satisfied. We won't. We won't have to worry about it. That's true. But the majority of men who consume those things don't get none. That's why they resort to such desperate measures. In my opinion, I feel like that's the bottom of the bottom. Like if you if you're that if you're that desperate that you have to consume those kind of things at a, at that point just get a just get a prostitute you know like you know if, if it's that bad you know that's a very sad existence. Imagine going through life having to pay to watch some chick that you would never meet in person take her clothes off. That is weird. That's that's weird. That's bad weird. Like just imagine that. Oh my god. And then you go into a place, right, and you're watching women dance in front of you, and you're giving them money to dance, that you are not going to be sticking nothing into anything, but you're just paying them to dance in their underwear. That is the stupidest, that's stupid as hell. I know, a, lot of men, a lot of men do it. A lot of, like, you know, like the, like rappers and shit do it. So we, I'm not just talking about the lonely guys here. But all this is my opinion, but I, I think it's stupid. Oh, my God, it's so stupid. It's the dumbest, it's one of the dumbest ways you can spend your money. I would never do it. Like, you know, like, oh. That's true. I don't necessarily mm. think that's true either. I think a lot of men in the strip club. If are men married. were regularly, <laughs> <I> if, <just laughs> if men were, let me. Then why is it that women don't consume these things at the same rate that men do? I mean, the, my answer to that is right. Men, we, men are always, almost always, more hornier than women, in my opinion. We we think about sex way more than women do. You know, we have urges way more than women do. In my opinion, I could be wrong. You know, I've never been a woman and I would never be a woman. So I can't speak for y'all. But based on the conversations that I've had with both sexes, you know, we tend to think about sex a lot more. So I think that was, that's a big part of it. I think we're not there's really a strip. So there's a strip club in Santa Barbara. Do you want to guess if it's for men or for women? I Well, obviously it's... Why is it obvious? It's, I'm not... No, I'm well, saying it is like obvious, it, right. it's yeah, like it is. There, it, there's more men in there than there are women, but that doesn't mean that there aren't any women. Like in but, there, but like, there's not a demand. Consuming. There's not a th there's not a demand. I for think it's it. social stigma. I think it's social stigma because realistically, as a woman, I like as a girl, even you know, being raised, I was always being told ways to make sure I don't come across as a slut or. Or, or use goods and I'm sure that if I was raised in an environment that didn't you know necessarily enforce those kinds of gender roles I would be consuming at the same rate as like you know another guy but as a she's lying 
woman, I was raised to be more conservative and to not really partake in that kind of stuff. So there's, there's probably, that's probably a reason why. You know, when I turned 18, I, no, sorry, not 18. For my 21st birthday, I went to Vegas and I went to a strip club and I had so much fun because I was like, wow, like I've never been to a strip club before and I've always wanted to go, blah, blah, blah. But that's only because I finally found a group of people that were like, hey, it's not weird for you to be a sexual being as a woman because most women, regardless if they have OnlyFans or whatever, are often shamed and treated differently because, you know, because of wanting to be sexual just like men do. Dropbox is linked to uh, my iPad, to my laptop, know, like, my Cintiq. I love I'm trying to dumbass add it Um, to respond to that last part, right? Uh, I mean, part of me, right? I call it a lie out. I don't know her personally. I think she's lying. But anyway, um, the reason why, you know, that is, is so stigmatized as, a, you know, you being a female is because you know, like I said, man, that's just, it's just a double standard, to be honest. You know, it is what it is. It's a double standard. You know, we have a lot of double standards in society, some good, some bad. And that's just have to be one of the double standards, you know. But uh, um, I, I think the reason why women who do OnlyFans and porn are all that differently is because, you know, women, are, like I said, it's, a, it's the double standard. Women are supposed to be clean. Women, and then the, the crazy thing is, right, you women want to be respected at the same time. It's like, I'm... Respect me as a woman, respect me, but you want to be out here for everybody at the same time, you know, like not everybody's going to respect that, you're not, and and there are people who don't respect men who do that, like, you know, it, it all depends on the person, some people respect that, some people don't, it's just how it goes, but it's mostly frowned upon when it comes to women because it's the double standard, men we could get away with a lot more sexually because when it comes to sex, we don't really hold no power, women control sex, so Sex doesn't happen unless a woman say so. So that is, that is a big part of the reason why you guys are stigmatized when it comes to that because, you know, you guys control it. But anyway, this video is going off long enough. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, would you guys be interested in watching me do more of these reaction style videos to these podcasts? Let me know what you guys think. And we out of here, man, because, you know, I, I got some not watching porn to do. <laughs>